I am Nick. I'm the founder of MetaMeet. Meetings are a necessary way to cooperate with other people, but all too often there are black holes that suck in your time. In this series, I'll show you my favorite movie scenes that contain an important lesson about meetings. Good. Right. Today, the imitation game and how an efficient meeting should look like. Welcome to Enigma. The details of every surprise attack, every secret convoy, and every U-boat on the bloody Atlantic go into that thing, and out comes gibberish. It's beautiful. It's the crooked hand of death itself. Our wrens intercept thousands of radio messages a day. And to the lovely young ladies of the Women's Royal Navy, they're nonsense. It's only when you feed them back into Enigma that they make any sense. But we have an Enigma machine. Yes, yeah, police intelligence smuggled it out of Berlin. So what's the problem? Just put the intercepted messages back into the Enigma and you'll I mean, get... It's not that simple. This is Just having an Enigma machine doesn't help you to decode the messages. Very good, Mr. Turing. To decode a message, you need to know the machine's settings. Now, the Germans switch settings every day promptly at midnight. We usually intercept our first message around 6 a.m., which gives you exactly 18 hours every day to crack the code before it changes and you start again. I wrote it. Ten plug board cables. That's one million. Thousand million. Uh, I've got it. It's million, million. No, it's in the millions, obviously. It's over 150 million, million, million possible settings. Very good. 159, if you want to be exact about it. 159, with 18 zeros behind it. Possibilities. Every single day. Gentlemen, meet you, Alexander. I personally selected him to run this unit. Didn't you... Mr. Alexander won Britain's national chess championship. Twice. You're not the only one who's good at games around here, Turing. Are we to work together, then? I prefer to have my own office. You're a team, and you will work as one. I, I don't have time to explain myself uh, as I go along, and I'm afraid these men would only slow me down. <laughs> if you can't play together, then I'm afraid we can't let you play at all. This is Stuart Mingus, MI6. There are only five divisions of military intelligence. There is no MI6. Exactly. That's the spirit. Mr. Turing, do you know how many British servicemen have died because of Enigma? Uh, no, I don't. Three. While we've been having this conversation. Oh, look, there's another. I rather hope he didn't have a family. This war Commander Denison's been going on about, we're not winning it. Break the code, at least we have a chance. Shall we leave the children alone with their new toy? All right, gentlemen. Let's play. So here's why I think this was a very efficient meeting that every company in the world should emulate. First, get the smartest people in the room. All these men, including Alan Turing, who's played by Benedict Cumberbatch, were the brightest cryptographic minds of the country. If anyone could solve the problem, they could. Our wrens intercept thousands of radio messages a day. And to the lovely young ladies of the Women's Royal Navy, they're not Second, explain the problem. The British general shows them the Enigma machine that the Germans used to encode their messages, which gives them a military disadvantage in the Second World War. Now the Germans switch settings every day promptly at midnight. We usually intercept our first message around 6 a.m., which gives you exactly 18 hours every day to crack the code before it changes and you start again. Third, explain the stakes. When Turing complains that he has to work with other people, an MI6 officer explains that people are dying as they speak, just to give Turing a sense of urgency. Mr. Turing, do you know how many British servicemen have died because of Enigma? Uh, no, I don't. Three. While we've been having this conversation. Fourth, give him the tools and leave. The scene ends with Hugh Alexander taking off his blazer saying, that's what a great meeting does. It sets the scene for smart people to do the actual work. 
cut all else from the meeting and maybe it doesn't have to take longer than three minutes. Subscribe to see more meeting lessons from popular movies and other funny yet educational videos about how people behave in the workplace.